guys, this is Jackson here, and today we are going to be playing Terraria once again. So, in the last episode, before we were actually here, um, uh, in the bottom left corner, I didn't see it when I was crafting things, but it said a meteorite has, um, fallen, I think, fallen down to earth, I think. So, I traveled to the right end edge of the world. And it turns out it wasn't over there, so I had to come all the way over here, um, and it was over here. So I already have mined it a little bit, and I made meteorite armor, and I also made a space gun. And then I was mining, so we're gonna mine a little bit over here before we go back. Um, there, This is considered a meteorite biome, so these floating head things come after me, which is kind of annoying because they set you on fire, but it should be fine. And I'm not gonna show off the other thing I got until we get back, or I'm gonna try not to, because it's pretty cool. Oh gosh, we're on fire, okay. It's pretty cool what we got, but I would like to not show you until we get back and I can show you like where I actually got it. So let's go over. Let's go up here where these, like, oh, I, okay, never mind. I've technically already showed it off on accident. Anyways, guys, I found, um, rocky, I found a bound goblin under the ground while I was mining, and that bound goblin traded rocky boots, and I immediately traded for them because I wasn't sure if they, if they were, like, if the bound goblin would leave as soon as I, like, walked away. So I bought them right away, along with the Tinkerer's Workshop that he gave out, and I also bought, uh, I didn't buy anything else after that. So I, after that, went back to my house. I mean, no, okay. I went deeper in the cave as soon as I found that, and I found a, another one of those skeleton houses things. And I found Hermes boots in those, and I combined those to make Spectre boots, which is what I have now, which are pretty amazing. So, I'm going to fight off all these meteor heads that have swarmed me suddenly. Okay, let's just mine a ton of this, basically, real quick. Um, so let's go for it. We just want to stay on the blocks, not next to them. Okay, got that. We don't want to be next to them because they set us on fire. I figured that out the hard way, but might as well come out and say it right now. And then this pickaxe actually deals with these guys pretty well. My sword is better, but I don't feel like switching to my sword at the moment. So let's go to... Let's keep mining and see if we can get down here. Okay, that should be good for a platform. Let's just keep mining a little bit. Um, I want to kind of mine most of this meteorite because I kind of want to turn it into not a meteorite biome because when it's not a, if it's not a meteorite bi biome, then I can't actually, then these meteor heads won't attack me. And I think we are pretty much good to mine more. Um, I didn't even notice that guy. Um, yeah, meteor heads are what these are called, and they're really annoying. Um, crap, now I'm on fire. Okay, so I'm pretty low on health. Am I still on fire? Okay. Let's just keep mining a little bit. So I'm gonna mine some more of this, and then we are going to teleport back home. Okay, guys, so we have mined quite a bit of this, so I think we are going to teleport home now. So... We also got a few people to move in um, here. So when I journeyed to the right, uh, I guess for you guys, the right is over there. But when I journeyed to the right of the map, I found an ocean and I found a sleeping sailor and his name is Philip. Basically, the, he gives me quests and stuff and I have to go catch them, catch different kinds of fish. I haven't actually completed any of his tests. Um, quest yet, but I probably should soon. We are basically going to be crafting and mining today. Most of it was so that I didn't get too far ahead in the game because I am getting slowly getting ahead here. So let's go to the furnace and make some meteorite bars, and then we are going to make some more 
armor and stuff. So let's just make as many as we can. Okay, so we made 55, but we already had one. So we have 56 now, which is amazing. But we are going to make some things. So let's go to the anvil. I wanna make these and put them in there. That's cool, okay. And then this is a hammock. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I don't want to do that. Um, I wanted to make lightsabers in this episode, like phase blades is what they're called. Whoa, I have meaty, I have flaming on, that's cool. Whenever I run, whenever I run at all, I get flame, that's amazing. Okay, so we are going to basically be going mining. Okay guys, so we are down into the cave. We basically, this is the bound goblin we found actually, right here. So in here is the bound goblin. His name is Dars, and he basically stays here the whole time. Um, and if you shop, he sells rocket boots, which is the thing that I got. And then he also sells the ruler. I got the Tinker's Workshop. I don't need a grappling hook because I already have one and a tool belt. So basically he sells really good stuff. So I'm probably gonna make a door here for him one day or something. Because he is pretty good and I wouldn't not I would not want to lose him because he sells good stuff. So I basically mined all the way down to lava and this house thing right here is where I found my Hermes boots. So Hermes boots were in here and that's basically like the only thing I grabbed and then I ended up going back for the stuff. So it looks like down here, um, what is this stuff that's separating? Is it obsidian? Oh, it's obsidian. That's cool. Can I just keep mining this obsidian? Oh my gosh, I can. Oh my gosh, I can. What? And the water just keeps flowing in. Yeah, but we're definitely pretty deep now, now that we are all the way down here. So we might want to be careful about where we are going. Okay, it looks like the water source has been depleted. So we did get obsidian. So where is that? Obsidian can be placed. It's a material. That bat just died in lava. So I'm guessing we don't want to go in the lava because that just seems like a smart accusation. So looks like there's a cave over in that part of the world. So we are going to mine over there. Okay guys, but first we are going to mine into this little cave right here because it looks like we can. Um, for some reason, these all these bats are being really stupid and just like killing themselves in the lava is super idiotic but i guess who, um i don't really care so it looks like i mined that pot on accident so i think that there's nothing else to that room so we're going to keep going the way we were going right here okay guys so we have reached this cave and it looks like there are quite a bit of mobs in this cave so I am wondering what we are going to do because there are literally like a ton. Um, let's go up here and fight off this and we are going to place some torches. Um, it looks like there's lava here so I'm just gonna cover that up with dirt, I think. Can I even cover up with dirt? Okay, I can just cover it up like that, so. I'm just gonna cover that whole little bit up so I do not fall and kill myself. And then we are going to go this way because I saw something dying. Holy cow. Do you see that over there? Okay, so it looks like there is a ton of lava in this part of the cave. So we're basically going to just be mining a bunch of pots and then I think I'm gonna go this way because it looks more dangerous and I don't know why but it looks more dangerous oh oh my gosh okay guys okay so if I wanted to make a blue face blade I needed sapphires and I already had eight but we need ten 
And look what we just found. We found sapphires, but we can't pick them up because we have too many things in our inventory. So we are going to get rid of the silt block. Let's just let's just drop a bunch of stuff. So meteor, I'll keep those. Sand, I don't need. I do not need this fallen star. I don't. I kind of want that. Um, tin ore, I don't know if I need, um, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, okay, I think I'm good, so, we're going to probably, should we come back up, um, I think I'm gonna mine for a little bit more, and then I'm going to come back up. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to be done mining here today, uh, a lot on the traveling merchant has come. So I think I am going to magic mirror out of here and there he is. Wow, right on top of my house. Okay, so we're gonna go up there and then we're gonna see what he trades and then we are going to go make a phase blade. So it looks like a celestial, celestial magnet, a gypsy robe, that would be kind of cool. Blue dynasty shingles, red dynasty shingles, dynasty wood, extendo grip. Increases tile reach. It's equipable. That would be kind of cool. I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not sure if I'll have enough though because I have Spectre boots on, and then I kind of like the hard flippers to swim, and then I have these climbing things, and the depth meter just helps me like see my depth. This is a violent depth meter, and this is a hasty depth meter. I have no clue why that make. I don't understand, but um. I think we don't need anything from this guy. Maybe the gypsy robes, but I don't know if I need those. So we are going to go down and craft our phase blade. Okay guys, so we are here. It looks like we can craft a obsidian skull. It's an a grants immunity to fire blocks. Ooh. We got 20 obsidian, so I'm gonna make an obsidian skull. Can I wear it on my head? Crap, we can't. Um, I'm gonna replace it for the depth meter because I can just check that anytime. Um, so, cool. So we are going to look up here where the phase blades are. It looks like they're not here. They might actually be in the Tinkerer's Workshop. Let me check. No, maybe not. Maybe I should actually go grab the other sapphires maybe that makes sense okay um tinker's workshop has nothing this sawmill has nothing this anvil has something we can make a blue phase blade yes we can make a blue phase blade is it better than my sword maybe maybe not let's craft it it's an unhappy blue phase blade it's minus 12% speed, minus 10% size, and minus 10% knockback. That is probably the worst phase blade I've ever seen. That is terrible. Oh my gosh, it sucks so much. What is this? It's so slow and it just does nothing. You know what, I'm I'm not very happy with this phase blade, but you know what, I honestly don't care anymore. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm gonna stick to using my superior blood sword thingy, and I'll probably just give my lightsaber away. Um, that's really stupid. That was literally the worst lightsaber I think I've ever seen. So I'm gonna go over here and check this guy's trades again because I might want to trade some things. Yeah, I don't think I want any of that stuff. So I think that is basically all that we were going to do for this episode. So basically that is going to be it for today. Make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video and also make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!